Okay guys, now a lot of people are looking for how to like install Atlas OS in 2024. The thing is you need to download the new fresh window in your PC and for that every step is actually mentioned on the website like Atlas OS, hit enter and then you need to go on this website, right? Now follow the instructions if you know then you can directly go on this version otherwise just click on the start and then you will see here the installation guide installation question answers and then already follow the follow the guide then directly you can click here it will redirect you again on the exact method but first let's go here on the installation guide here you will get all the installations guide first you need to download the windows iso file and you can download it directly from here like if you need windows 10 just click here it will scan and give you the download link choose the language and then click on confirm it will give you download link if you are looking for windows 11 then again you need to click on the windows 11 to 4a to choose the language click on confirm and it will give you the download link like this you need to download this file okay i'm not gonna do this because i have already done all the methods on my second pc i will show you further uh, but first we need to discuss these things now step number two network drivers now some pcs actually don't support the default windows network drivers in such cases you need to download the network drivers because after installing the new window you will like totally lost the internet connections from your pc so that's the reason and you can see by default windows may not have your computer network drivers meaning after installing your computer could have no internet connections for this reason we strongly recommend that you don't do one of the following download your network drivers beforehand and store them on external storage have the ability to download and transfer network drivers from another device later so basically uh if you are using like tp link or uh, any uh you know device that contains uh, their own drivers in such cases you need to go with that otherwise if you are using the internet then probably every windows port internet adopters you don't need to do that as well after doing this the next step is installing windows if you don't know i will provide the link in the description go ahead and watch the entire video to know how to install the windows properly and after this if you don't have usb you can also see here the methods it's just like you need to download the iso file that uh, we recently downloaded and then you need to cut it from the c drive where you are where you're gonna install your operating system just paste it somewhere else in e drive or d drive or whichever you have just paste it over there and then you need to extract it after extracting it's just like software just double tap on the windows uh, set a file and then follow the screen prompt and install the entire window but at the uh, disk partitions do not format or create a new one just install in the same drive and later on you can just follow the steps mentioned on the website i will show you delete the older versions here is it is select your windows drive click next click ok and to the warning about windows.old and let the install finish so basically after installation the easiest method to clean the older version suppose i have two different operating systems over here when you open this you will see here the windows start old old folder you can just choose and shift delete if it's not working then simply you need to go into the properties of that specific drivers then this cleanup it will show you that windows start old folder is available just choose and clean it clean it up as you can see there's a lot of folders over here just choose the windows dot old folder check and then click on ok and if if it's not popping up just click on the clean up system file so it will again scan the entire uh, c drive with all permissions and then you can easily clean that folder select and clean that folder from here and then click on ok it will delete that folder that simple it is and one more thing after doing this go into the system configuration once you are here you will see here the boot options currently i have only one boot option might be you will see here the two boot options so choose the alternative one like this is the current os means i am using right now this one the other one is your skin just choose that and then click on delete 
this will help you to remove completely windows uh, older version right and after doing this what you need to do here install initial setup oobe so basically that's again related to the windows when you are installing it's just like configuring the windows startup and then drivers update this is the first step after doing all these steps clean installations you need to update your windows to the latest version and you know guys how it's work go into the settings update and security search for updates and install all the available updates even though optional updates just install them after installing them simply restart your pc and after restarting your pc you need to go here click already follow the guideline now we have done the guideline now we need here the atlas playbook or ame wizard so basically you should only download these when instructions to buy the installed guide if you are not following the install guide click back to the install guide at the bottom of the pop-up to see more information after doing that simply you need this tool ame wizard when you click on this it will give you a download file in a zip file and further i will show you in a separate video i will attach over here okay now right now i'm voice overing on this video so after doing all these steps what we are gonna do here you need to download this file and then launch it just right click on it and run as administrator a pop-up will appear just click on yes and that's it only you need to do this and it will start the further setup now here you need to choose a file i will provide the link in the description you need to choose it from the github page so you need to go on the atlas os once again and then you need to click on here and it will redirect you on the github page just scroll down at the bottom you will get that file it's uh, over here in the assets you will see here the atlas os version and then the format is dot zip which is the file extension second one you need to download this one it will help you to perform all the tasks like it it is like built-in script and uh, i will provide the link in the description so basically you can go there and then choose that now the thing is checking windows security the thing you need to do here open your windows security and then simply you need to disable the real-time protection to allow the installation and later on you can even enable this and that's it now simply you need to close this one and then click on next once it is done click on next again and I agree you can also see here the options enable defender or not so what you think best for you just choose and then click on next in my case you can follow this it's more secure way or safe way you can say and then just click on next Now if you want to download a specific folder uh, browser you can choose if you have already then leave as it is and then click on next now further it will do all these steps automatically you don't need to do anything okay now to, now after finishing this simply you need to restart your pc and that's it you don't need to do anything it will optimize properly and you will get the better fps best performance low latency the only thing is it's not good for your office work or any other where you need some privacy and security and i will provide the comparison between the original windows 10 and windows uh, atlas os which is optimized windows 10 basically so if you are interested just let me know in the comment sections i will provide the comparisons between both operating system like the performance and the fps and that's it for today's videos guys if you have any other question let me know in the comment section see you have a good day bye bye